<laughs> What's up, Cocker? Yeah, we're going, uh, we just arrived at our spot here. Sounds more like I hit the San Andreas fault. <laughs> hey, there's that weird guy. I'm up, kinda have to go to vet appointment today. So what you're saying is you're now the boss. No, I'm not the boss anymore. <laughs> he's back from vacation, so he's back to being the boss. <clears throat> All right, guys, let's get our waders and everything on, and we'll get to fishing. <clears throat> Let me take a drink of Mountain Dew real quick. Let's see here. <clears throat> Oh, got me another one of my Thompson inline spinners, you guys. I'll probably tie that on first. Ah, crap. My keys in my pocket. I'll put them out there. That'd be fine. Let's get you guys on the chest mount here. Get you plugged in. Everything's charging good. He's a uh, Here's my Thomas inline spinner that I always use, guys, if you want to get you one of them. Uh, it's the gold, uh, let's see, gold and silver blade. It's half gold, half silver. There's the side of it. It's got like a, 
five gold beads and then a red one there at the top <clears throat> and then I got some of these power bait atomic teasers let's try these things out let's go tease tease some of these fish with the atomic teaser this dreams down seriously is it doing that crap again? Yeah, it did go down, didn't it? That's a bunch of bull. Alright, hang on just a second. I don't want my stream to be doing this the whole dang time again. I'm gonna restart the stream, my phone. been a bunch more debris washed down right here. Dang, man, I hate that. Water's super, super clear. I haven't seen that water that clear in a long time. That's gonna... That's gonna throw a different kind of challenge at us. Let's see here. Team fishing. And I think we'll go with Burn. I think the burnie's too big for the clear water. Let's go with uh, maybe the coconut crab or the BAMF. One of those two. I think I'm going to try the coconut crab first. got a burning on here. Mm. Got a BAMF on too.
So that doesn't matter. That's fine right there. It'll work. It's a little off center, but those things are hard to get on hooks as small as they are perfectly. Try this out, see if we can get anything smaller profile, a more natural color for clear water. Let's get in the water here. Get my backpack. Oh Lord. Mm. Hopefully my stream hasn't dropped any more, guys. It's it dropped it started doing that dropping thing on me at the beginning of the stream. And I restarted my phone. All been good? Awesome. Well, hopefully it'll stay that way. Sometimes it'll go for a little bit and then drop. Just kind of depends on how it feels, I guess. I don't know if it's my phone or Verizon or Streamlabs or Twitch or I don't know what to do. Is. Now we went from zero to waste real quick. There's all kinds of fish swimming in here. I can see everything. <laughs> 100 percent cents. Sweet. I'd like to find out where those big fish went. Those big fish are down this way somewhere. Oh my god, that was a good one. That may have been one of them. Because that was a good fish. I felt him. That was either a small mouth or a large mouth. That wasn't no micro fish. He was a good one. Let's see if he'll do it. Let's see if he'll bite it again here. I bet that was one of those fish. I'm curious to see what they are because I, I seen them swim down and I've never seen, they didn't look like any kind of fish profile I've ever seen before. They weren't bass. And they were bigger than like a creek chub or something like that. They didn't look like suckers. I don't know what they were. Yep. Oh God. How's the day been? We're just getting started, transporter. How you man? 
I've had a couple of them. I'm starting to get some bites now. This, oh, there he is. That's not the big fish that we hooked, but it's a little red breast. Still beautiful colors. <laughs> What's up, Reese? I ain't got no big tasty buns for you today, man. <laughs> Baby Godzilla. Rinse, rinse was in my last cooking stream when we buttered up my my hot dog buns. Buttered up the buns for him. Oh man. <laughs> We'll have, to, we'll have to butter up some buns again one day. I don't know, you ain't taking my crab, man. Give me my crab back. No. Okay. Yeah, it's been over a year, for sure. Sticking around like a hair in a frog or a hair in a biscuit. Oh man, it's Sada. Thank you, Sada, for the raid, man. I wish I knew how to say your whole name. I love your streams though, man. Guys, make sure you give Sada a follow. He's an awesome outdoor streamer. Got some beautiful scenery over there. Thank you for the host, man. I hope you had a great stream. See, I'm doing great. I've been... <laughs> Yeah, that last stream we did was kind of wild, man. I don't know. There was like a hundred people in here for the whole seven hours I was streaming. I don't know what was going on. It was crazy. Unbelievable. Is that Badger? Badger78? I think I remember you, Badger. Because I was calling you Bad Girl. And you were like, no, it's Badger. Is that, is, am I correct? Or maybe that was somebody else with the Badger name. I remember I've done that once to somebody. Fudge, man, I had one again. <laughs> There's fish over there. There's not fish over here where they're usually at. That's kind of odd. This water's cold as crap, too. I'm shivering. Yeah, dude, I called you back. Okay, that's what I thought, man. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Badger. <laughs> I felt so bad. I was like, oh, man. There's a bike. Oh! Oh, that was a good one. Hey, Sada. <laughs> Thank you for that raid, man. Hope you, hope you had a great stream. What were you doing? You hiking, hiking around, fishing. We've got two good bites out of this hole right here so far. Two really nice bites. 
and there was a school of fish that I don't know what they were. They didn't look like any kind of fish I've ever seen swim through here before. I'd like to catch one of those. Ooh, found a mushroom. Sweet. Trying to poison himself with mushrooms. <laughs> What's that mushroom that everybody finds around here? Uh, I can't. Remember, I never can remember what they're called. Yeah, morel mushrooms. Yeah. I'm surprised I haven't ran up on any of those. Any of those morel mushrooms here. They're at their <laughs> meth rooms. <laughs> How you doing, Perfect Painting? Good morning, man. Um, yeah, we got meth rooms around here. <laughs> awesome, man. Yep, there was a bite. There he is again. Take it, dude. They're nibbling on it. smell coffee <sighs> smells good <laughs> math <laughs> math rooms <laughs> that is terrifying I wouldn't want anything to do with that Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on, man. <clears throat> I might have to switch up baits again here. Oh, dude. That sucks, man. I might have to find a place to take you again. <clears throat> I gotta be I gotta be back back home today by 2.30. Make sure you guys keep an eye on the time for me because I got to be back by 2.30. <laughs> I hate her job. <laughs> you hate her job for her, right? <laughs> I know how you feel there. I talked to my wife into quitting her job, so... <laughs> rooms I might have to switch over baits again try something a little different I got me another Thompson inline spinner so I've got that to try Caught a monster catfish yesterday, so proud of myself. Did you get to weigh it? How much do you think it weighed? Whoop. Whoop. Bad gummit. These guys are being tricky today, man. It's like when the water, when the water gets clear, the, the fish get smart. It's all that extra sunlight they're getting in their brain, in their system, makes them smarter. Ugh. Hook them suckers. <laughs> they're toying with me, man. 
There's a five pounder in meth pond I hooked him in. I don't know. Uh, meth pond. I would like to go back up to meth pond. That's a good little pond. These fish are toying with me today, man. And they're laughing at me. The water's so clear, they see me standing over here. They're like, let's mess with him a little bit. And then we can watch him get mad. It's on streaming clips. Sweet, dude. I'll check it out. I don't know what else I can throw on. No oh, mosquitoes. Get away from me. I ain't wearing no bug spray. I figured the mosquitoes would be gone. It's so cold. 66 degrees. That's pretty cold. Not really, but compared to what it's been, it's that's that's cold. Here's one. That's a, is that, that's a creek chub. Pretty big. That's a big creek chub, dude. Holy cow. <laughs> what the heck? Second species of the day, though. Look how big this creek chub is, man. Ow! No, he came off. Well, you got to see him. You got to see my big old chub. bunch of them over here. Chip rocks, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Peritopia, man. How you doing? I'm trying to catch some clear water creek fish here. So far we caught two species. I'm hoping to catch some uh, smallmouth. There are smallmouth in here. So I'm hoping to get them. Right now I've found what seems to be a little school of uh, creek chubs over here. And mosquitoes as well. They bite it as soon as it hits the water, but they don't take it. They just go up there and hit it, like they slap it. Come on, man. Let's go. There he is. Take it, man. You know you want that crab. That has to be a little guy. <laughs> uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised we're even catching fish because. When I seen what the water was like, I was like, yeah, we're not going to catch anything. Which it has been harder to catch stuff than normal, so. I think I've scared that school away. 
They may have moved back over here somewhere. Ah. I don't know why I'm missing so many. We aren't going to catch anything, but you are. <laughs> Watercolor is nice, man. That'd be fun to watch. Hey, you guys are the one fishing, man, not me. Look. See, these are your arms. You're standing in the creek right now. Woo, that was a good one. See, look at that, man. I get a bite. Arms aren't moving like I'm telling them to. <laughs> it's an early access virtual reality headset. Got to work out them bugs. <laughs> Oh, God, that's a good one. Uh, wow. It's a big red breast. I don't know if that's the same one that's been... Let's see if I can get him on my hand without him flopping around like the rest of them have. I'm going to get my hook, my dang, uh, <coughs> I should eat that one, uh, it's skillet sized, ain't it? <laughs> I'm going to get my tweezers out, or my dang, uh, he got that lure down in his mouth pretty good. Inventory button. Oh, I can't get my ding. Uh. Uh, gosh. Okay. Alright, I didn't drop anything back here, did I? Look how you choked this one. I was just talking about how the fish weren't freaking biting the lure, and then you choke this one. Got him. You got some big old teeth, too, for a fish like that. There you go, bud. Emergency oral sur surgery. Emergency oral. Inventory washing down the tree. I probably did drop them. <laughs> At least the water's clear. If I did drop anything, I can see it. Careful, bro. <laughs> There's one. All right, are we turning on here finally? <laughs> It's a little guy, a little red breast.
<laughs> emergency oral man make a lewd joke. <laughs> you forgot to put that space after your period. <laughs> Badger. <laughs> oh, Nightbot. Oh, Nightbot even corrects that. Yeah, we got the weather now, yeah. I didn't know my weather app was gone, so. About his head off. Only if I'm catfishing. I'll bite his head off and use it as bait. How you been doing, Oakwood? We, uh, trying to catch some clear water fish here. I mean, the water is, like, pristine. Look at that. see my feet just like glass <laughs> good old mountain water makes the fishing tougher though I was hoping I hope we can get some smallmouth today but I don't know it's gonna be a uh, might be a hit or miss kind of thing. Speaking of mountain water, I've got a new place <clears throat> that has brook trout in it. Problem is, whoa, dang. It's another, that's not even as big as the other one. It fought harder. Another red breast. He hit that thing like a tank. Yo, Krista, what's going on? Good morning. Hope you've been doing well. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I got a new spot that's got brook trout in it. Unfortunately, it's on the top of the mountain. I don't think there's going to be service up there, but I can try. Uh, I haven't been up there yet. So I'm going to have to drive. I'm going to have to drive up there and see. Your creeks are flooded? Uh-oh. Is that, uh... Has that hurricane hit yet? It's not up in that... It's not up in that way yet, is it? Your creeks are flooded and mine are down a foot and extremely clear. I prefer not to fish clear water, but what are you going to do? It's at a cat four. Got hit with tornadoes and downpours of rain. Ah. Well, at least you're safe. That's the best thing. You get a lot of bad weather tornadoes and stuff. That's, that's scary. I still don't know what those fish were that swam by earlier. I'm going to have to find out. they got to be down this way somewhere. They're not going to go past that waterfall. So they're down in that spot in front of us here somewhere. Sid, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Paratopia. How you doing? Storm surge. Missouri always does. 
Yeah, you're in that tornado valley, aren't you? I'm probably going to have a school of big fish swim by me here in a minute as I'll make it down into this hole. Ten thirty. <clears throat> Got to keep an eye on that clock. Right now we're standing in about crotch deep water. Not quite up to our waist yet. Cold crows, what's up? I wish this was more popular on Twitch. It's, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um. Thank you for the follow, Cold Cruise. Welcome to Paratopia, man. Uh, Cold Crows, if you haven't yet, check out... Uh, type in exclamation point list. And that'll take you to the Live Whale website. Which is the fishing community's website. And uh, you can see who all's online, who's fishing, stuff like that. There's one. Oh, he came off. Look at that. Streamlabs and Nightbot both got that. <laughs> yeah, check out the livewell.net. Give all them other fishermen a follow. Yeah, let's see. This is another red breast, I believe. Oh, that's a bluegill. Maybe. Yeah. That's a bluegill. That's our third species. <laughs> What's up, any of them? Species number three. The bluegill. I'm, I'm currently in talks with uh, a couple of people that are YouTubers that got a pretty big following that uh, we're hoping to get to come over and stream on Twitch a little bit. Uh, so that gives us the opportunity to show them what the Twitch fishing community is about. And it also gives them a chance to bring their community over to Twitch and uh, kind of get the word out to the world that there is a fishing community on Twitch. Because a lot of people don't know about it. Fishing community takes over to it. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> that would be awesome. More, <laughs> more fishermen on Twitch than gamers. That's going to take a while. The end of Fortnite. <laughs> In latest news, Twitch fishing has taken over the world. 
in an extreme turn of events, children are throwing their PlayStation 4s away, abandoning Fortnite, and hitting the water to catch fish. <laughs> Hey, boss, crazy. What's up, man? Thank you again for uh, showing all the love and support there yesterday, man, in my <clears throat> in my wife's stream. That was awesome of you, dude. And that's Baratopia. <laughs> There's Garage drunk too. What's up, man? What are we going for today? So far we caught three different species. I was hoping to specifically kind of catch some uh, smallmouth bass, but the water conditions are kind of not what I expected. It's The water's down about a foot, and the water is extremely clear. I mean, it's like glass. <laughs> What's Paro's live streams? Yep, talented. She was uh, doing a birthday cake yesterday for her. Yesterday was her birthday. She made her. She wanted to make her own. Oh look, it's a her own birthday cake. Vaquero, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Paratopia. Voodoo, we have been fishing for about an hour, and uh, we haven't moved to spots yet. I've been in this one spot for an hour. <laughs> Didn't realize it's been that long already. Oh, look, it's a far. Voodoo, thank you for the follow, too, man. <coughs> thank you, thank you. Holy cow, man, everybody's coming up in here now. Chainsaw Squirrel, what are you doing, man? You been getting any fishing uh, done on your travels? Gotta see me catch a fish. <laughs> Voodoo, we are kind of, uh, we're mainly creek fishing stream. I love creek fishing. We don't really catch big fish here. We've caught, we've caught big fish uh, by surprise out of these creeks. Like, uh, we've caught a couple of six, seven pound channel catfish. We've caught some nice large mouth, small mouth. <clears throat> Twitch seems to be deluded with a lot of female streamers. <laughs> I'm one of the females that does not stream. Sixty hours, no time for fishing. The biggest channel cat as a kid came from a little creek. It's crazy, man. And the little creeks have surprised you. I think creek fishing is probably one of the most underrated underrated forms of fishing there is. I'm, I'm glad it's underrated because, you know, nobody wants to fish in a creek, so I get to have it all to myself because I'm selfish like that. <laughs> but creeks will surprise the heck out of you for sure. Them trout on the micro lures. I got a big trout, man, on the little tiny Freaking lure is crazy. <clears throat> bluegill fish all day. Oh, yeah. I'll catch a bluegill all day long, man. Won't bother me one bit. I'll be perfectly happy. To me, it's, it, it's not the size of the fish. It's about getting out here in this tranquility environment. It's peaceful. There's nobody else out here. You don't get that with a big lake, you know. Lakes are crowded with jet skiers and other boaters, other fishermen, jet skiers, all kinds of stuff, you know. And in my opinion, it's not a peaceful experience. Unless you can find a, a cove back in there somewhere that nobody else is at.
they're either posted or just can't get to town. That's how I ended up here. I made the comment in town of extreme that I missed the fishing in Tennessee. <laughs> Just about go to sleep. <laughs> hey, you found the stream for it, man. We'll put you to sleep real quick. <laughs> exactly, Blacko. <clears throat> you guys that are just coming into the stream, if you want to see the biggest fish I've ever caught, type in exclamation point big bass. It's one word. Yeah, that, that is one, a problem. That's a problem with creek fishing is the private property aspect of it. If, if there's private property on both sides of a creek, then it's private property. They, they own the bottom of the creek. They own the, the dirt. They own the ground. They don't own the water. So if you're floating, like if I was to get a little float and just float down through here, they couldn't do anything. But since I'm waiting, I'm walking on their land. <clears throat> That's essentially how it works with creek fishing. Yeah, there you go guys. Click on that link right there. And that's the biggest fish I've caught. And we got another red-breasted sunfish here. Yeah, I hope it, everybody gets out of that hurricane down there. Mm, sounds like it's gonna be pretty crazy. <laughs> Can I give lessons on that? Yeah, most people think that, you know, it's, oh, I'm in the water, you can't do anything. If you're walking on the bottom of a waterway, you are on people's property, if their property line comes out that far. <clears throat> if you're floating a boat, like if I was in a boat right now and I was floating down this creek and I threw out an anchor, my anchor is touching the ground. So my anchor is on their property. He's lying, Connor caught that bass I was there. You live along those Salmon River in Washington. <clears throat> Some states are different. I don't know what, I'm sure most of them are fairly the, the same, but <clears throat> some, some states are different as far as their laws go, but in Tennessee, that's how it works. There we go, fish on them. I just had to throw over there in that slack water. That's all I needed to do. A little red breast. That's about all there is in this creek. Well, I don't know. There's more species in this creek than there are in my other creek, but the majority of them are red breasted sunfish. There's also largemouth, smallmouth, bluegill, creek chubs, striped shiners, rock bass, warmouth, carp. Northern hog suckers, white suckers, banded sculpins, various types of darters and other minnows, blunt nose minnows. Oh, that's a good fish. Mm. Good red breast, man. Look at this one. This one's beautiful. Real good colors on this one. All right. Check out now, I guess. I 
beautiful colors on that guy. That's the biggest one we've caught today. <clears throat> what am I using now? I'm still using the crab. I haven't, I haven't switched over from the crab yet. That's what we're using. A little coconut crab by 13 fishing. They love that many lure. <laughs> I wish I could make my own mini lures, man. I would love to make my own little... I don't know how to make... I'd have to make molds and stuff. Make my own molds. Here's another one. Holy cow. But I would love to make my own little micro lure line. That'd be great. Uh, yeah, these are barbed hooks, yeah. It's uh, another little red breast. Oh, he came off. I had another one. I'm wondering what else they'll buy to. I mean, we're success. We're having a lot of success with the crab, but I'd like to try something else. Like if I was to throw the Thompson inline spinner in here or something, might be a smallmouth in there maybe. That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking for. I might put the Thompson on here in a little bit. Good grief, man! They're all over the place over there. Red breast. Oh, this one's beautiful too. It's got good colors. Let me show him off. Oh, stop, man. I want to show you off. Show off your beautiful body. Another real nice colored one. We're not allowed you to have barbs where I'm at, where you get fined $52 if caught. Uh-oh. I mean, I can understand that. Especially if you're catching and releasing like I am. There's really no reason to have a barb. Good gosh. That's a big one. Oh, he came off. That was a nice one. He didn't have a lot of colors on him, though. What in the world, dude? Oh, new species. New species. Here we go. Species number four. The rock bass. Rock bass is another beautiful fish. But that's our uh, fourth species now. Making ultralight fishing with a micro crankbait. It's on YouTube. I want to make like, uh, I want to make soft plastics. Injected soft plastics, that's what I want to make. Like what I'm using right now. I'm still getting bots, man. That's insane. Oh, look. It's a far. Uh, see. In deer? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Paratopia. Hey, there's some wild turkeys, y'all. Going behind me. 
They've already flew over into the woods, but... Big red eyes. We found us a nice little hole here. It's got a bunch of red breast sunfish in it. And we caught that rock bass. I'm gonna put an inline spinner on here in a minute and see if there's maybe a smallmouth in there. There are smallmouth in this creek. And largemouth as well. We'll probably be wearing this hole out here. Yep, oh, well, no, there's another bite. I was thinking we was done in there. Yeah, I got a fish following it, I seen it. There's a bunch of fish in that hole there right there. It's crazy. There's gotta be another rock bass in there. Hey, Tupadre, what's up, man? It's going pretty good. Uh, we've caught four species. I don't know how many fish we've caught. We've caught quite a few. <laughs> I'm getting ready to throw a spinner out there. See if I can catch a smallmouth out of this hole. Don't know if I'll catch one or not. We'll just have to see. I think we've about wore this hole out right here, guys. Let's put the Thompson inline spinner on. We'll give it a shot. <clears throat> a bunch of little micro fish right there. <clears throat> How about you, Tapadre? How you been doing, man? Crazy with work. Uh oh, man. Uh, and I hate that. I don't like, uh, I don't know, man. I have a, I have a view about how modern society works, and I think we put too much on ourselves as a society. We've made things too complicated. And we we require too much of ourselves. Yeah, I hope things get better for you, man. I don't like to see people stressed out because of their job. Hey, Sandy Storm, what's up? I'm getting ready to try to catch a smallmouth here out of this hole. We've caught four species so far. I'm gonna try to go for this, see if there's a smallmouth in here. Isn't it when we have those people that use snaps? <laughs> I love my snaps, man. They've caused me to lose a couple of fish, but not. Not nothing crazy. Oh, I had a fish fall on it. <laughs>
Oh, shoot. I don't know if that was a bite or not. I about jerked the pole out of my hand. That was a bite. Oh, yeah, I got a little fish fall on it. A little tiny fish. Looks, I'm look cool. It's water looking good. It's super clear, dude. It's super clear. The clear water's kind of presented a challenge. Uh, Oh, I got one. I didn't think it was a fish. Dang, it's a big old, big old red breast. Don't close your mouth, man. You're gonna hook yourself worse. Dang it. Freaking treble hooks, man. It. Another little nice colored uh, red breast. Fussy lure or a Swiss. Oh, you think I should use the fuzzy lure? I've got some with them. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I need to try out the ones that Fuzzy made for me. I, f I keep forgetting about them. Uh, now this is a Thompson, Thompson inline spinner. I have a horrible memory, I can't remember Jack. Mm. Got bottom on that one. I don't think I'm going to get a small mouth out of here. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna get a small mouth. Yeah, Thompson's my favorite, my favorite inline spinner. Oh, get this on. What's this one? That's a big old strop shiner. Guess what? That's our fifth species. The striped shiner. Five species already. Alright, go on. <laughs> Yeah, they work real good, man. I love them. I'm kind of just... That's about how I'm reeling right there. And Panther Martins. I got a bunch of Panther Martins. I got a bunch of Panther Martins and I got a bunch of uh, MEPS spinners in my box over there, but uh, I still I prefer the uh, I prefer the Thompson. Now those, uh, those ones that Fuzzy made me, I want to take those. I, I really want to take those to the river because they're a little bit bigger than what I would want to use in here. I'd like to take them to the river for smallmouth.
Yeah, let me show you what I got over here. Uh, Sandy. Go ahead and make her way down to the next hole. Alright, let's see. See, here's a bunch of my Panther Martins here. Some of, them, some of my Panther Martins. couple more Panther Martins here. Yeah, I've got a couple of uh, Blue Fox uh, Blue Fox Vibrix spinners here. I don't, don't hardly ever use those. I've got these which are called uh, they're called minnow spins. Blue Fox are your favorite. These are called minnow spins. And then all these over here are my MEPS. My MEPS spinners. Nope. I've messed something up here. Rooster tails. I don't have any rooster tails with me, but I've got some at the house, I believe. They're pretty good, too. The original rooster tail. The OG. Oh, there it is. Go hit her next hole. We'll keep the inline spinner on for now. I'd like to catch a bass or something. <laughs> the one true Morty. What's up? Good morning, man. Panther Martins for the win. And I can replace the hook on those without cutting off the skirts. The white tail rooster is plastic. So you can replace, they've got an O ring on them, the uh, rooster tails. Can't believe I didn't catch a smallmouth out of this hole. Caught a ton of other fish though. Let's see here. Hang on a minute. There's another little good spot right over there. I could probably catch, use my other lure I was using earlier and catch some good fish. Mm, yeah, there's another bite. I can't get it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what is that? It's a pretty decent sized fish. I think it was a fish. Sent you a link pair to make some soft plastics. Oh, sweet, Krista, thank you. Let's check it out. 
I'd love to make my own little soft plastic micro lure line. Um, I get, get, <clears throat> that would give me something to do in my free time. Alright, we're free. Free as a bird. Okay, the did the video make it look easy. <laughs> Yeah, having to make, making your own mold, I mean, yeah, that's, that sounds complicated just thinking about it. I kind of want to put my smaller lure back on. Ordering a few UV bulbs today. We'll be ready for spring. Sweet man. I can't wait to see what all you get, dude. I'll definitely be hanging out in your streams. Silicone and Legos. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, that kind of makes it sound easy. Right here, I usually catch quite a few fish. This is a pretty good spot right here. It's awful shallow there. I'm hitting bottom already. Oh! God, he hit like a tank. I thought that was a smallmouth. These red breasts are crazy. I'm dying to catch a small owl. Dying. Hey, yeah, hard. That's crazy. I thought I was hitting bottom, but I think that was just him biting the, biting the lure. Nice job, thank you, Voodoo. <laughs> Voodoo's still hanging out in here. I might have a better chance for smallmouth once we go upstream here a little bit. We're also not going to catch as many fish with this bigger lure on. What time is it? 11.44. Uh, remember guys, I gotta leave. I gotta be out of here and leaving by 2.30. I gotta be in the Jeep leaving by 2.30. Don't let me forget that. <laughs> Whoop. I'll see you little fishes. Oh, I got a dang leaf. A dang old leaf, man. This is where I had that big otter swim by me the other day. Right up here. Huge otter. Oh, shoot. I wasn't expecting to catch something right there. I did, though. Thank you, Krista. If I get to fishing, I'll, I'll, I'll lose track.
I want to go out. You want to go out and throw an inline spinner now? <laughs> I'm so glad I got my my Thompson back in, man. I don't know what I'd do without it. I gotta get Fuzzy to make me some that are well as identical as he can get to them. And that's not a fish. Somebody's out mowing the yard up here. I'm probably not going to be able to go through, go up here much further. Until it goes right beside somebody's house. I got a bite right there. That was bottom. Mm. Maybe not. Hey, drum time, buddy. What's up? Just moon them. Just moon them and walk past. <laughs> mm. Drum time is going pretty good, man. Better than I thought it would. Oh, what is this? Small mouth, small mouth. I think it's a small mouth, it is. Yes. Six species, guys. Species number six. The small mouth bass. Hooked him in the tongue. You hook, you hook a fish in the tongue. <laughs> Got it. It's a little small mouth, but it's a small mouth. There he goes. Sweet. Six species. What do we call it so far, guys? Bluegill, red breasted sunfish, creek chub. Striped shiner. Smallmouth bass. What was our six species? I think we've only caught five. Rock bass. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. Rock bass. So we have caught six. Six species. Awesome. He slammed up. That little inline spinner, man. Slammed it. Oh, there's a ba I see a banded sculpin right there. I never have caught a banded sculpin. I see them all the time, but I never can catch them. Tons of little micro fish right there. I put my size 20 hook on. Catch them micros. Gusta Vigura. That's how you say it. <laughs> Thank you, Gusta, for the follow. Welcome to Paratopia. How you doing, man? We just caught our six species of the day. Species number six. on a rock.
Oh god. I was hoping another smallmouth would get it or something. There we go, we're loose. We're loose. Get loose. Oh crap. Uh, there's a tree down right there. I didn't see it. I have to throw a jig or something over there. Let's see how far it goes out into the water. Should be good right there. I don't want to walk through this spot without using my other lures, but I don't really want to tie on another lure. Does that make sense? I'm happy using the inline spinner, but I know we could catch some other little panfish in these holes right here in particular if I put on a smaller lure. <laughs> get loose. Seventh species, the elusive rock. Rare species of elusive rock. Man, somebody up there mowing up all kinds of stuff. Sound like they destroyed their blades. further I want to go. We're just over knee deep in water right now. It gets <clears throat> it gets more shallow up that way. Whoa 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 oh, look at him he's <laughs> He followed it all he followed it all the way up to my freaking right in front of me. That was funny. Did y'all see that? <laughs> that was hilarious. I stopped reeling because I seen him right there. It's a good colored uh real good colored red breast. Goosey goosey. I didn't think to expect oh, that's kinda wild. Don't expect to catch stuff sometimes. In some of these spots and then it surprises me. Oh dang. Are you serious man? That little old tiny fish hit that hard. You gotta be kidding. Thought that was a bass too. Another red breast. Tons of red breast. Mm, I don't think there's gonna be anything right there. Not like plastic hanging over here off the. Hey, I think this is a smallmouth. It is. It's a small mouth. Mm, I'm about to get my pliers out on this one. Yep. Get the pliers out. Choked this thing, man. Holy cow. 
There he is, y'all. That's a, uh, like our third smallmouth, basically. Thanks for letting me catch you, little dude. I didn't think I was gonna catch anything on that cast. Cause I kinda threw it over in the shallow part. Hmm, another bite. How are you doing, man? It's going good, man. We've caught six six species so far today. I'm trying to target smallmouth more than anything, but we're getting ready to hit a pretty good hole right up here. Farm Boy Gaming, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome to Paratopia. Yeah, man, it's been a pretty good trip. I didn't think we was gonna catch a whole lot because of the, the clarity of the water. But we've been catching pretty good fish. Uh, raid! Oh man, 24. 24K with the raid. Thank you, 24. There should be some smallmouth in this hole right here. This is a deep hole. I'm probably going to target this for a while. We'll fish this for a while, right? <laughs> you got that right. Micro fishing for life. <laughs> How was 24's stream? You do pretty good. So far, first place, we've caught uh, six different species. Uh, we've caught three smallmouth bass. So that's been pretty awesome. That's mainly what I wanted to target was the smallmouth. But I also wanted to try to get, uh, try to get 10 species. Lots of baby bass. Good, I'm glad he caught some fish. Ooh. Not gonna hang up on that leaf. spend much time at this spot. I thought there'd be more production here. I, figured, I was figuring there was going to be at least a couple of smallmouth in there. At least. It's kind of wild. Probably one of the deeper holes we've hit today. I'm not getting anything. I bet if I put one of my smaller jigs on, we probably get some. I just don't know if I want to do that. Oh, 
I do want to go down to another spot. There's one, what we got? It's a red breast. Got all three treble hooks in him too. Freaking treble hooks, man. Not a very colorful red breast, but especially compared to what we've been getting. See it right there. <clears throat> About fell in the water casting that one. Face first. Mm. Oh, that's another red breast. These red breasts hit like a tank, man. It's crazy. He's got a lot more color to him than that last one did. Get my small mouth out, man. Come on. I love that feeling. It, oh, it's unexplainable. There we go. That's a good cast down that way. I got a fish. I think I was hitting the bottom. <laughs> Either that or the fish kept attacking it. Good day for streaming, man. This, yeah, it ended up being real good. I got a three day weekend too, so hopefully. Maybe tomorrow or something we'll go down. Oh no. I don't know if I'm going to get that one. Dang, what a freaking sucker, man. Look at them suckers. That's a whole school of suckers. I don't have no night crawlers. If I had some night crawlers, we could catch them suckers. There's a whole bunch of them right here. Tons of suckers. It's a sucker hole. <laughs> Shallow diving, uh, let's see. Shallow diving Rapala. Let's see, I think I've got, I don't have a Rapala with me. I've got some other, uh, oh no, I got the tree. Uh, I've got some small jerk baits with me. And I've got a, uh, a shallow diving, uh, yeah, let's try that, uh, Let's see, where can I... Uh, 
show you what I got here. I'm gonna put this little uh, shallow diving crawdad pattern. It's a rebel, uh, rebel crankbait. Plus, I got that that bluegill spinner. I need to try down here too. Uh, and we got this little guy right here. Vago style. Thank you for the follow. I'll put this little guy on and see. <sighs> see if we can get anything with him. And I've got some little jerk baits too. So you're in Ohio. We're in Tennessee. Is that your favorite kind of smallmouth lure? There's your paws. Let the ripples go away. Didn't get anything on that cast. I feel like they should bite this. If there's any smallmouth in here, there's a lot of suckers. I see them suckers like crazy. There may not be a smallmouth in this hole right here though. It's hard to tell sometimes. There's something. <laughs> Shoot. Mm -hmm. It's a red breast. A red breast on the little Rapala. <laughs> or not the Rapala, the little rebel. Can't believe he bit that. Good colors on him there. Oh, I had a fish. Darn it. There he is. He came back and got it. Oh, snap. That's our seventh. That makes our seventh species. Oh, don't come off. Don't, 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 don't. I gotta show you the check because you're seventh. You're our seventh species. If I leave now, I might be able to. Ah, 
Now. Seventy one in Missouri. So that's a large mouth bass, guys. That's our seventh species. Sweet. What's the temperature? Oh shoot, there's another. What's this one? That's a big old red breast. I hate these dang little treble hooks, man. Seventy-five. Yeah. Not too bad. Red breast. Awesome. There's a good place to get down right here. Dang, it's shallow here too. Wow. I definitely want to fish that hole there. God. I've put a big hole in my waders on my left leg now. I'm definitely going to have to fix that when I get home. If I don't spend all day fishing. Normally right here I do I do best with the jigs in this area or in this hole rather. Oh I got a bite. Ooh, that was a good bite. Come on, man. Yeah, we'll probably switch over to a jig. I see tons of little old fish chasing it. It's too big for them though. I was hoping there might be a small mouth or something in there, large mouth maybe. Ooh. There we go, fish on. What we got? Red breast. The red breasting continues. As much as I like the car, I like fishing more. Y'all didn't want to hang out in my Jeep? Why I came down here and fished? <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That's the first time I've ever done that. I forgot my stream. Oh, largemouth bass. Nope, wait a minute, that's rock bass. Rock bass. 
We've already caught a rock bass today, but this is a, only our second one. I ran the fish up every catch. Pretty rock bass. Two species already out of that little hole. We've got seven species all together today, so far. Ooh. I think I was hitting bottom there. Mm, creek's extremely shallow. All kinds of fish busting on top water. We've been doing good. We've been doing good all day long. Then the stream drops. As long as they don't do it constantly. I guess we'll be all right. Yeah, the stream definitely dropped. Ed, are you in here, man? Hello, testing one, two, three. That dang string dropped again. Are we back, guys? I don't think my stream's working. It's up. Thank you, Soda. What's up, man? Uh, go away, Kingfisher. You're not scaring me today. All right. Hopefully it doesn't go down again. I hope it don't. We've been doing good all day. If it starts dropping every 10 minutes, then we'll have to restart my phone or whatever. Still haven't figured out why it does that, or why it done that. But if it drops again, let me know, guys. I'll try to fix it.
I was getting hit there. I think he took off with it in the opposite direction. Got my line all slacked. Didn't know he was on there. I almost had one. This hole is not being as productive as it usually is. It has to do with that shallow water, probably. Shallow, clear water. There's one. A red breast. And he's gone. I wish I could catch some pumpkin seed. Little head. We just don't seem to have those much, much around here. Uh oh, okay. That was almost bad. Man, I'm surprised. I'm surprised with this hole, man, it ain't producing. That's crazy. I'm about to move on to the next hole, which is unusual. I usually spend 30 minutes or more at this hole. Catching fish. I wish I had them Lucky John Nyadas, man. I can't find the Lucky John Nyatas anywhere. I've looked and looked and looked and looked online. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. No. Oh. Let's see. Ran over a fishing hook? Oh no, dude.
How much do your tires cost? I don't know if I want to try that or not. It's not really the color. Yep, I got some uh, atomic teasers, buddy. Yeah, that sucks, Ed. 30 bucks. I also got you some new tires. Sweet. Awesome, man. Because I was about to send you 30 bucks. <laughs> Right uh, today, it's not doing good, putty, because the water's clear, and that color is not good for clear water. Yeah, the crab was doing good. That's what I had on. I was throwing out there just now. But it wasn't producing anything for me. At this spot. Which is kind of weird. I wish I had some of them Lucky John Niotis. Those things are killer. I've searched all over the internet though, I can't find them. Yeah, I checked Amazon, eBay, everywhere. I literally spent all day one one day looking for those, or all all afternoon looking for those lures, and I couldn't find them. It sucks because those lures are insanely good. It doesn't look like he's going to bite again. Yep, a rainbow trout. Oh, yeah. We got some good rainbow trout fishing around here. I just never have been to one of the creeks to do it. Or one of the rivers. But we've got some world-renowned cat or world-renowned trout fishing. People from all around the world, China, Europe, all over the place come to the river up here to catch trout. And I don't ever go. I don't ever go to them. <laughs> it's probably because I'm a loner and I like being out here. Ooh, baby.
What we got? That's a good fish. Feels like it. What's it be like a red-breasted sunfish? I can't even see it. There it is. It is a red breast. Freaking red breast, man. You go in the woods three days at a time. That's awesome, dude. That's what I like, man. That's why I like creek fishing so much because there's nobody else that creek fishes. <laughs> it's just me and nature. Right? Oh, shoot, son. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I can't believe all that, all that debris right up there. It's crazy. That's bad, man. Oh my gosh. I wish I could do something to fix that. There's tons and tons of trash. Well, not tons and tons. I'm exaggerating, but... Ooh, that was a good bite. There's a bunch of trash clogged up in that barricade. It's a natural barricade, but the trash is pathetic. Yeah, there's a big, I hear that frog too over there. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm afraid to go in that crap, man. Hard to tell what's in all that. Good grief. That's pathetic. I wonder if I can get up on land. Up on land here somewhere. Oh God. It's another red breast. I'm catching tons of red breast. I'm looking for them small mouth bass and stuff, man. Uh-oh, I think, yeah, my charge pack stopped charging. Uh-oh. Did we ruin it? Did we ruin my charge pack? Or is it just dead? <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's charging. Oh, no, man. It got wet. That's not good. I mean, it was completely submerged underwater, too. The way you pull on that rod was awesome. <laughs> I love my banana rod, man. Wouldn't give it up for nothing. It will give you the best fishing experience you've ever had. There's another bite. Oh man. Come on. Get it. Get it. <laughs> he didn't get it. Yeah, he got it that time. Probably another red breast. Oh dang, he seen my face and he tried to get away. Oh wow, that one's pretty. That's a pretty one.
my best is my grandpa's rod. It looks similar to yours. I love the ultralight uh, ultra light setups. It makes the experience completely different. No matter what kind of fish you're catching. Ewok, if you want to see the biggest fish I've ever caught, man, type in exclamation point big bass. Mm. Something's not spinning. Yeah, it is. Okay. Didn't feel like it was doing right. Uh oh. Okay. About made a boo boo there. I wouldn't mind to throw a little jig in this this hole right here. Be able to catch something with it. God, it stinks. There's so much trash over here. It stinks. That's, oh, oh. It makes me so mad, man. I hate it. Why? Why, people? Why? Well, at least there's a fish in it. Red Breast City. Yeah, he was a good one. It smells like straight up sewage over here. Not sewage, it smells like trash. I don't know how to describe trash. It smells like trash. That's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, I can't get past this, man. Unless I get up on the bank. Looks like a good hole over there across from it. No, it's not sewage, it's just trash that's piled up. And it smells like, it doesn't smell like sewage, it smells like a waste field. A waste, yeah. There we go. I didn't even know how to fish on. Hey, that's a bluegill, I think. It is. Bluegill. We haven't caught one of those in a while. We've already caught one today, though, so it doesn't count towards our species list, but... I need to make commands for the species I catch, so you guys can add them to the species list. Now i got to get back up that bank when I come back. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting experience. This looks like a good spot. Oh, fish on. That's a small mouth. That's a small mouth. That's a small mouth. That's a small mouth. Sorry, I get excited when I catch small mouths. Nope, nope. Pretty smallmouth too.
Might be stinky, but it's a good spot. It's only, it's only stinky up at that one spot, thankfully. Ooh, this is good fish. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's a big old rock bass. Two species out of this hole so far. Nope, oh, nope. Almost dropped down to. Oh, oh, there he went. He didn't come off. Don't 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 come off. That's a good smallmouth bass. Decent smallmouth bass. Yeah, he just got my dang camera dirty, didn't he? <laughs> Trout Fisher 101, what's up? It's going pretty good. We caught seven species of fish. So far. I forgot, to, I forgot that they changed the commands. Fish on. Pretty good fish. Oh shoot, son. That's a big large mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know you seen me. You seen me. Chill. Chill. Big large mouth. Mm, that's crazy. Normally I catch small mouth. And we catch a big old freaking Big large mouth. Nice. He's fat too. Heck yeah. That was a good final fish. <laughs> well, it may not well, it may not be our final fish, but good fish. Good good last 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 ditch effort fish. I probably won't be fishing tomorrow, guys. I'm going to take a break tomorrow. <laughs> Why do I need to stop? I've been fishing and streaming for 10 hours. And I haven't had anything to drink or eat. There's one. Oh, I got another war mouth. Yeah, it is. It is another war mouth. Awesome. No, no. I have to show off the war mouth. That's our eighth species. We almost made it to 10 species today. Almost made it to 10 species. All right, one more cast. <laughs> if we could have caught two more species of fish, 
we could have got to our goal of 10. Any smallmouth? Yeah, we've caught several smallmouth today. Several large mouths. Oh, guys, I don't normally ask people to do things, but I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel a little bit. And I've got, I've, I've just started editing my videos. Uh, if you guys would type in exclamation point social. And, uh, Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give my give my YouTube channel a follow. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Squirrel. www. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Oh, my YouTube ain't on there. What the heck? Where's my YouTube at? I'm about to change that. Anyway, it's youtube.com slash parasitic. There we go. Thank you, GL. Thank you very much. Oh, crap. <laughs> Yeah, the link is below the stream as well, guys. If you want to check out my YouTube channel. Oh, hey, look. I caught a rock. Wow. All right. Interesting. All right, guys. I got to end it. I got to go get some food in my body. Really appreciate you guys' support today. It's been awesome. We caught eight species. Countless fish. Hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for everything. And we'll see you soon. And remember, every day is a good day when you fish. <laughs>